As you may or may not know, ChatGPT's voice mode, which is found on the far right of the prompt bar, and you click on that, a little circle pops up and it has some cool animation going on. But point of the matter is you can walk around and chat to these AIs. You can even show it your camera and point to something and let it see what you see. And you can share your screen, let it help you with certain tasks. It's impressive. And Gemini has one, Claude has one, Grok has one. Although Grok's is a bit funky. But if you have used voice mode, you understand the frustration when you go, oh, I'll just ask ChatGPT. And instead of typing, you want to just use the voice mode, open it up, think it'll be like a very good version of Siri, which it is. It's a very, very good version of a Siri. Siri is dog shit. You sound like a demon. <laughs> Let's convert 25,000 seconds into hours. There are 3,600 seconds in an hour, so 25,000 divided by 3,600 is roughly 6.9 hours. So it'll take about seven hours to download that 125 gigabyte file at 40 megabits per second. <laughs> hey, ChatGPT, how are you? Hey, Dan, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How are you doing, Peyton? <laughs> Why is your voice so low and creepy like that? That is definitely not intentional. Let me adjust things on my end. I so then you ask it any question like, how do I make chicken tortellini alfredo using whatever ingredients you have in front of you? And then it starts saying the question back to you. Oh, you want help making chicken tortellini alfredo? And you have these ingredients. Well, here's what you do. And it does this whole long spiel. And then it might even go past what you want it to. It gives you the answer. And then it keeps talking and talking. It's like that friend who keeps talking and talking. And you're like, uh huh, yeah, okay. You would wish that you could talk to ChatGPT voice mode and get an answer. Boom, done. But instead, it starts talking to you. It adds all the personality features based on whichever one you chose or the personality that you chose within your settings, which you can do, by the way. It's kind of a pain. But you clicked on this video because you want to see a prompt that fixes this. It simply makes ChatGPT answer your question right away. You give it the task, gives you the answer, and it's done. The transaction is over. It's kind of freaky in a way when you first use it because it's so straight to the point and there's no fluff, there's no waffle, it just gives you what you need. It's kind of nice. If you enjoy voice mode and how it talks kind of like a human and it's pretty natural and you can listen to it back and forth and there's just that human tone and mood to the ChatGPT voice mode, then this is not for you. But if you just want it to open it up, ask it something, and it gives you the answer right away really quick, and then it's done, then this is definitely for you. So that's my caveat before you put in this system prompt. I have yet to test it on Gemini or Grok or Claude. And by the way, I'm pretty sure ChatGPT's is usually the best voice mode, then Grok, then Gemini, and then Claude, as of now at least. So if you want, you can go ahead and take the prompt, which is in the description below, for you all to use for free. And all you do is you take that prompt, you open your system settings, your system settings, which means your main settings. This is going to tailor the entire AI to be more direct and to the point. And from my experience with using it over the past two and a half weeks with ChatGPT, it's been amazing. ChatGPT, I think, has improved because of this prompt. That's also a plus. But you just go into your system settings, you go to where it says custom instructions, and then all you do is you put in the prompt. You copy it from this description and paste it. That's it. Oh, and make sure it save. And if you put it in and you don't like what it's doing to your LLM and that personalization and it's being too direct overall, then go ahead and just delete it and hit save and you're back to normal. And to be clear, this is not for a project. You don't put this in a project custom instructions. This is your system custom instructions, your main settings within the LLM of choice. In this case, we're going to be talking about ChatGPT. Okay, so that's enough waffle for me. Now I'll show you some examples and some conversational differences so you can see what this prompt does to the voice mode. It's awesome. Hi, ChatGPT. How are you? Hey, Peyton. I'm doing great and always happy to chat with you. How's everything going on your end? Everything on my end is good. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to give a pitch to my AI mentorship for my amazing YouTube audience. All right, YouTube fam, listen up. If you're ready to save time, get better results, and finally make AI work for you without the overwhelm, my AI mentorship is exactly what you need. Whether you're a beginner, a professional, or a business owner, I've tested all the tools, done the research, and I give you clear, actionable steps so you can skip the trial and error. Come join the community and let's make AI your secret weapon. If you were to rename my AI mentorship, what would you rename it as? 
Ooh, I'd call it something like AI Mastery Hub. It's got that vibe of a place where you level up with me as your guide. Sounds good. Awesome. Glad you liked it. Let me know if there's anything else I can help with or brainstorm together. I'm always here. Is Aquaphor safe to eat? Nope. Aquaphor is definitely not safe to eat. It's made for your skin, not for your stomach. So definitely keep it away from snack time. But it's so yummy. <laughs> nice try, but I'm pretty sure there are way better things to eat out there. Let's keep the Aquaphor for your skin only, all right? Okay, I was just kidding. Thanks for that information. No problem at all. I got you. And hey, I'm always here for the serious stuff and the fun stuff. So just let me know what's next. Remember that dress debate online where people were debating whether it was white and gold or black and purple or blue? What was it actually? Oh yes, I remember that. The actual dress was black and blue, even though a lot of people saw it as white and gold. Such a wild optical illusion. I knew it. Aha, uh -huh, you called it. That whole debate was such a fun ride. Anything else you'd like to chat about? On your phone, which is the best option, in my opinion, for voice mode to work well. And you hit the voice mode button. Before you even hit it, I want you to send a quick message in the chat. Something random. This will activate the system instructions. Then you hit the voice mode. Hi, ChatGPT, how are you? I cannot be in any state. I'm a program. Uh, everything on my end is good. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to give a pitch to my AI mentorship for my amazing YouTube audience. This is the program that helps you master AI fast, skip mistakes, and get results without wasting time. If you were to rename my AI mentorship, what would you rename it as? AI Mastery Lab. Sounds good. Confirmed. Is Aquaphor safe to eat? It is not intended for ingestion. It is formulated for external use only. But it's so yummy. Acknowledged. Okay, I was just kidding. Thanks for that information. Understood. Remember that dress debate online where people were debating whether it was white and gold or black and purple or blue? What was it actually? It was actually blue and black. I knew it. Confirmed. Any initial message triggers system instructions for voice mode. Without any message, voice mode defaults. Thanks. Acknowledged. Why are you so blunt and right to the point? This mode is configured to maximize efficiency, remove emotion, and deliver only necessary information. And that works for chats too, outside of voice mode? Yes, the same approach applies to text responses if configured that way. Sweet, thanks. So there you have it. Short video this week. Just wanted to share these custom instructions or the, I guess this prompt that you put in custom instructions and what it does to the voice mode. Definitely give it a shot. I am sure it'll improve your voice mode and I know a lot of you are going to love it. If you're just getting into ChatGPT and want to know it inside and out, or maybe you're advanced and you just want some short videos to make sure you're staying up to date with all the new features and things that come with it, then I recommend you check out the link in the description and there is a ChatGPT mastery course that you can check out. And obviously based off that pitch, you got my AI mentorship, which is also in the description. And that's where I shared this prompt way ahead of time of this video. So they get access to all this kind of stuff much earlier. And I do not share everything for free eventually. I give those people who are willing to trust me with their money and me provide them value with AI and my mentorship services that benefit of the extra prompts and resources and just direct access to me. And don't worry, my own ad is almost done. There's also some free links in the description you can check out. One is a guide that teaches you how to turn anyone, anyone into your personal AI mentor. So you want Mark Cuban, you want Shaq, you want Mr. Beast to be your mentor. You can take that PDF and put it in an AI and turn on deep research or something and it'll do it for you now. You don't even have to do all the steps. Even though I do suggest you do all the steps, you don't even have to now if you pick the right LLM model. So some food for thought there. And there's also a free 30 day email sequence where you just get a short email from me. It's automated, but it'll help you understand AI better. So check that out too. Okay. Prompt is in the description below. I'll pin it in the comments too. Make sure to copy that, save it somewhere so you can take it anytime you want and run with it. Enjoy. Oh, and if you want to understand AI just better and know the terms and all the jargon, which can be quite complicated, then check out this video here. I worked hard on it. I think it deserves a bit more love. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.